Hello and welcome. We are in lesson two, single shuttle techniques. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to easily use supplemental weft, how to weave two color clasped weft, and how to weave three color clasped weft. Supplemental weft. So supplemental weft can be used as a cloth design element to be worn or as an accent on home decor items or accessories. Here's what you're going to need. You want a length of yarn. Um, about 12 inches to 18 inches long is pretty manageable. Um, and you want to use yarn that's in a different color than the weft. And so I'm showing you. You want to um, wind that into like a butterfly. And um, this is going to make it easier for you to handle. You can also put it on a small shuttle. You're going to start out by weaving a pick with the main yarn that you're going to be using. Then you're going to beat, but you don't want to change your shed. You're going to run some of your supplemental yarn through the shed that you just wove that main color yarn in. And then you're going to bring the yarn butterfly to the top of your weaving and then you're going to beat again. You're going to weave as many or as few picks of the main color um, and then you're going to repeat the steps above. So here's a warning. If you want your vertical lines to be straight as you're going up those lines where the turns are, you want to pay attention to what shed you're putting the supplemental yarn in, whether it's the down shed or the up shed. Um, if you don't care, then don't worry about it. Just have fun. So after this video, you're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving and it's going to be labeled supplemental weft. So if this didn't make sense, just see the next video and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm doing. Next up, we have two color clasped weft. So two color class weft can be as structured or as random as you like. It's a really elegant way to kind of paint with yarn as you create lines of joins that wind or step their way up your cloth's length. You're going to need a ball or a cone of yarn in a different color to the weft yarn that you're using. So you want to put that ball or cone of yarn in a container or on the floor beside your loom. And then you're going to open up a shed. You're going to pass your shuttle through as if you were going to weave a pick. You're going to catch the thread on your shuttle. And you're seeing, you see how that is? You're catching it and you're going to bring the shuttle around and bring the thread through. And you're going to bring the, that shuttle back out the same way it came. You're going to lay the shuttle down and you're going to beat. And you're going to repeat. Now, be sure that you're making these like angles and that your that will keep your sides from drawing in unless you want draw in, which we're going to talk about in another lesson, but you want to be making the weavers angles with your thread as you're catching it. And in that way, it will keep your edges straight. If that's something that you're going for, or just don't worry about it <laughs> and just do this for a little while. And after some time of doing it, then you're going to get your groove and it will, you'll have your neat edges. But I figured I'd let you know how to get those edges if that's going to bug you a lot. Let's see, those angles, angles are important. All right. So if you want to see me doing this in real time, then you're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving after this lesson. It's going to be labeled two color clasped weft. Now we've gotten two color class weft. Let's do three color class weft. I mean, you really could go crazy and do a whole lot more, but I, I usually just, I, I stop at three. So, Hey, the concepts will remain no matter how many colors you want to use. So in three color class weft, you are catching the colors on either side of the loom to bring them into the shed on each pass. The shuttle stays in the middle of the work and exits out of the top of the weaving instead of the sides on each row. You're going to need two balls or cones of yarn in different colors than the warp, 
a shuttle wound with a third color to catch the two sides. Now, you're gonna start with your two colors of yarn on either side of your loom. You're gonna open a shed. Seems familiar, right? You're gonna pass your shuttle through as if to weave a pick. This is for the first one. You're going to catch the thread on the shuttle. And then you're going to, to bring that thread out to into the shed and you're going to keep going though when you reach the other side you're going to catch the thread on that side and bring it into the shed and then you're going to bring the shuttle out the center of your weaving and then you're going to beat and then you're going to chain sheds and you can repeat this you're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving three color class weft after this video. So in this lesson you learned how to easily use supplemental weft, how to weave two color class weft, how to weave three color class weft. Now take action now. You can weave along with me after or with the next video as I demonstrate supplemental weft, two and three color class weft. And if you haven't already, go ahead and download that game board so you'll be able to tick this off as you go and um, yeah, keep track of your progress. I want you to consider joining me in my weaving community. It's a great way to get support. And um, yeah, you can hang out with other people who are in the same journey with you and encourage and support each other. I want to thank you for watching before I don't go anywhere so I can tell you what's coming up in the next video, but please give me a thumbs up. It always encourages me. Um, leave me a comment. That's even better. Um, and I'm, I, again, I say I'm going to do better at responding to them. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell and share this video. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to weave slits and how to weave a window. And I will see you in that next lesson.